So for pretty much my entire real estate photography career, I've always used Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. It's what I started with and what I know best. But nowadays there's a bunch of new programs coming out that are doing some pretty incredible stuff. And one of them being Luminar Neo, specifically checking out their new HDR merge extension and edit a five bracket interior photo that I shot recently and see how those results compare to Lightroom and see what other cool AI based features we can achieve in Luminar. So let's get into the video right now. Okay, so a couple of things to note. This is take number two. First video didn't have audio. Second thing, Luminar did give this to me free of purchase to check out and make a video on. These are my honest thoughts and just giving you my real world experience using this and see how it works. So now it's gonna do it. Okay, so here we'll drop again. Here is a five bracket exposure photo, auto exposure bracket setting on the Canon R6, 15 to 35. We're gonna drag all five into the HDR merge extension settings auto align yes and merge i do wonder what it would be like to edit like a whole listing in here where if you have to bra uh, edit like or merge 20 or 30 images i feel like that could take a while but so let's see what it looks like straight out of the hdr merge that looks pretty good <laughs> let's do the same thing in lightroom so let's select all the images go to photo merge hdr auto align, auto settings, because obviously I normally wouldn't do auto settings, but I am just simply for example sake, because Luminar is doing some sort of editing as well. And then let's merge it and see how that compares because this looks really good already. So here you can see in the left hand corner, it already merged it. So it does merge it a lot faster, but that looks like it needs a lot more work. That's crazy. Look at this one and then this one. And, I, and before you go to the comments, yes, the fan was off, but because there was a, a vent right under the fan, it was spinning it. So in the final photo, I corrected it. But for example sake, just we'll deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. So here's Luminar's photo with no editing. And here's Lightroom's, which the fan gave crazier results. Actually, you feel like this one would be easier to correct. But or the inside is darker and the outside is brighter, while this one is already a lot more balanced. Huh. So let's dive in and see what we can do. I'm not gonna do any presets for this. I don't think any in Luminar would work for this. So let's see what we can do. Let's go to the develop and just the overall exposure a little bit. Yeah, smart contrast, pump a little bit of that. I love that you can clearly see, you know, the outside image, the outside view really perfectly versus in this one, it's not especially even the inside. It's super dark. This is already balanced. So one of the things I do for all real estate images, white balance is already kind of where we want it. I am going to go to color and I am going to go to HSL and I'm going to drop the yellows. Dropping the yellows to give more of that white wall look, which is probably more accurate because it's only really yellow in this case because of the fan light and any tungsten lights. So this is actually a better representation of what it actually is. Then I'll go to luminance and bring up the luminance of the yellows. I'm gonna drop the saturation of the blues a little bit too. Didn't have a polarizer for this because I had just gotten the 15 to 35, so hadn't ordered it yet, but now I have one that would have cut a lot of this reflection out, so you wouldn't have to deal with that. I just need to fix this alignment a little bit. It was looking down a bit. It is running slower. It might be because I'm just having, uh, I'm screen recording this as well and I have Lightroom open, but so right there, let's see before, after, that looks pretty good. You could easily do, you could easily send that as a final image. But the only other thing I know that I wanna do before I get into checking out some of these effects is dodge and burn. That back wall where the window is is pretty dark compared to the rest of it. So. Again, not going into Photoshop or anything. I'm gonna try doing it in here by just dodging some of it. And let's see, strength 10, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna dodge over this area, brighten it up a bit. So I also just realized that I feel like it's previewing the whole photo at like a lower res version. So I hope that's the case, otherwise we're getting some kind of crazy colors in here. Versus if you jump to Lightroom, just bump up this exposure. You know, we don't have any of that in that image. So 
It'd be interesting to see when I finally export it. But that's the thing to note. That would be kind of annoying if that's just because it's you know too much heavy duty on the program, <laughs> too much processing. So let's quickly check out some of these effects. I wouldn't use many of these, but maybe the relight. Let's see what brightness near does. Nice, so it's kind of, you can add a little bit more brightness to that. Interesting. Brightness far. Nice. The photo just, I guess, fully loaded, and now it doesn't have that on the wall. So let's go and export this again. <laughs> now let's go to Lightroom and see how that performs. So we can drop my interior flash, no, interior HDR, fix that alignment, okay, bring up the exposure, contrast back in, Okay, and then there we go. So I feel like that's as close to kind of like how the other one was. Drop the yellows a bit more. Okay. And then we'll export this and compare it real quick. So here we have Luminars. So it looks like it was a photo previewing issue because now it's full resolution and we don't have any of that going on on the wall. It's clean, so it did merge everything perfectly fine. So now this is a really nice looking image because if we go to Lightrooms, it's still pretty good, but the the outside, the exterior is more blown out. The inside is darker. I love the color and the lighting balance more in this one, but I do like that the wall is brighter in Lightrooms. If we go back to this one, uh, I feel like we could dodge most of that and make it a little bit more even, and then I would like that image a lot more than this one. So, And if we quickly take a look at another photo that I recently shot and edited in here, you can get some pretty cool results. One of my favorite things about Luminar is just the amount of creative tools they've added in that you can't really do in Lightroom. One of my favorite tools was Landscape, where it actually has a golden hour slider. You can actually add a golden hour feel to your photo, and it worked out great for this one because this was actually shot early in the morning, and bringing up that slider up to 70 made it look really nice and actually more how I remember it in the shoot. And then the foliage enhancer was also really cool as well. It basically just targets all the foliage in your photo, and you can enhance it, reduce it, change the hue. Pretty cool. Another favorite one was atmosphere. The fact that you can actually add fog, mist, other effects, and the intensity was honestly really amazing. And especially because, again, that's how I remember it in this shoot. It was early morning, it was pretty foggy and hazy out, and adding that in just softened the image and made it more to what I remember that shoot being. And to me, it gave it a much more realistic look than just being super clear and digital sharp. And probably one of the most incredible features that I came across while editing this photo was sun rays. It's a tool where you can actually place a sun center in the photo and then adjust everything from how strong it is, the sun rays, the direction, the intensity. It's pretty crazy. And so because I remembered where the sun was in this photo, it was right off frame to the right, I could enhance that sun, have those sun rays coming through, which would be realistic through the fog that I added, and it all made sense and made the photo a lot more interesting to me. Especially the fact that you didn't have to dive into Photoshop to manipulate a stock photo of a sun and sun rays or anything like that. And probably my last favorite feature was mood. You can add a LUT, change the intensity of it, import your own, use the ones that were built in there, which the first one was already really good. Kind of like I would do for a video, just overlay a LUT at like 10 to 15, 20% really lightly to just unify all the colors in the image and just make it all cohesive. So being able to do that for your photo, again, not having to dive into Photoshop was really cool. Okay, so that's pretty much it. What do you guys think of that? Pretty incredible results, honestly. But I think one of the most impressive things for me was the fact that right off the bat, it was already a pretty good looking photo, especially for beginner real estate photographers that aren't too seasoned in editing, might have to do a lot more in Lightroom and possibly damage the image more versus already getting a great result in Luminar to begin with. Because like I said, you could honestly send that photo without doing any other editing and it would be okay, you know, it just has that wall that's a little dark, but overall, the interior looked nice, and you can see outside, you can see the pool, it's the point of it. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already, I would love for you guys to be part of the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.